Hi, I wanted to show you a quick update that has happened to the pick puller field type. Uh, typically the field type you use in conjunction with the image browser itself. So you would have your uh, entry set up like this. You would click view my Instagram stream and you know it would pick something like that. And that would be how you would get your media ID by that image browser. But uh, let's say you didn't want to give someone the access to the photo stream. You didn't want them to use the image search to search by tags. You just wanted them to type in the media ID. That was always kind of tricky because how does a regular person find the media ID? So uh, I'm going to refresh this page so I can kind of get back to a, a clean slate again. Okay, so imagine I hadn't didn't have these buttons here, which you can turn those off in your settings for PicPuller if you want. Now I want to get a media ID, but I don't know what that is. So how can I do that? So let's take a look at my regular Instagram feed. These are just pictures that are showing up from my friends. I want this picture of a chicken. Uh, I'm going to write about my friend's chicken coop. All right, so I'm in my feed. I'm going to do view photo page. And now this is the URL for this photo in Instagram. So right here, I'm going to cut that and I'm going to go over here back into my expression engine. I'm going to paste it into this field and you'll see this little search icon comes up. If I click that, you'll notice the URL changes to a big long number, which is the media ID. And now that works just as well as if you used the image browser. So, you know, I could go ahead and submit this and that image would be part of my expression engine entry. So I think that is a good uh, shortcut to have in there. And um, I hope that helps you. Thanks. Bye.